Hi guys, so this is the first painting. You can hear my baby in the background, I think. Um, so I started with yellow ochre. That's um, the less bright yellow. All right, and the tip today is to plan ahead. So you don't have white paint, so you're gonna have to plan where you want the white areas on your painting. You can always make it darker later, but in watercolor, it's really difficult to make it lighter. You can get a white, a wet paintbrush that's clean and kind of wipe some of it up um, to try and get a lighter, lighter shade, but that um, is not 100% and it doesn't work as well, especially if it's dry. All right, the flowers we moved on to um, is one of the reds. Yeah, it really doesn't matter which one you pick, but I pick the darker one. And we start light. You can always make it darker, as I said. So, and this was a fun project for me. I started this just because I did a little class one time and I drew it out for everyone because that was what um, most people were worried about is they wanted to cut watercolor but they're not good at drawing, which I think anybody can learn how to draw. You just need to take a class to have someone explain, know what to look for, take some practice. Um, it just takes a little bit to train your brain to paint what you see and not what you know. So you know what the shape is, but that's not exactly what you're seeing because of the perspective. Um, but anyway, so back to the painting. We got some, we got the green going. I've, there's two different greens on your tray. So it doesn't matter which one you pick. And you can do whatever you want, honestly. You could make this a fall thing and make all the leaves yellow or do whatever you want. This is just what I did, um, just so you can have something to see. But go ahead and make everything your own. This is your painting. Do what you want to do. Um, so, as I mentioned before, we start light and we work our way to the dark. And if you notice, I use a paper towel when I paint a lot. Um, I wipe it off between each color. If I have an excess amount of water, I wipe it off. Um, and I'll even dab it on the painting for an eraser every once in a while if I need to. If I've got too much water on the thing, on the painting, then I'll soak a little bit up with uh, the paper towel. So watercolor it just takes practice honestly you kind of figure out how the paper absorbs the the water and how much and how much is too much so it takes a little bit of practice you i make you'll see me make mistakes and i'll have to soak it up with a paintbrush but um or if the paper towel like i mentioned so but it is tons of fun and I enjoy it. It's very soothing for me. Alright. We moved on to some blue there on the flowers. And that one is the less bright blue, which is hard to tell. I know that the paint's really dark. So right um, there at the top, you'll notice I put the brown on before the blue had dried so they seep together. So that um, well, if you're not patient, that's another thing with watercolor. You gotta wait for it to dry if you want to get a completely different layer, but it also is kind of fun if you want to merge things together. And that's the end of it. I hope you enjoy.